Hi, in this episode, we will see how to install Android Studio for our Flutter application. So at first, uh, we are in the Flutter website and from here, we are seeing that Android setup. At first, we need to install Android Studio. Uh, so to download and install, we need to go Android Studio this page. So I'm going to Android Studio page and from here, we need to download Android Studio. Here I see the version of Android Studio 3.5.3 for Mac and it is about 373 megabyte. So I see there is a download button, download Android Studio. If we click over there, then it will start downloading. So to install the and on thing, uh, the Android Studio, it looks like uh, this thing. There is a screenshot you can check. So our target is to download and install this thing. So to install this thing, at first we need to download. So I'm clicking over this button and then I have to read and agree with the above terms and conditions. I have to check mark this box on such check mark. Then the uh, download button will be visible for our Mac computer. So I just need to click over there to start downloading. It will take some time based on the internet speed. It will start downloading and it will start finishing the download. Once download finished, we need to go to the download location. I see my downloaded, my download is already finished. So I am going to the download location. For my case, it is under downloads. And I see that the DMG file of Android Studio is there. Uh, to install it, we just need to click, uh, double click on top of it. And we'll see this type of message that opening Android Studio, Studio ID, something like that and uh, just wait a few more seconds and you will be prompted this type of thing. Uh, this is the actual installation window of Android Studio. So here we see there is Android Studio and there is an arrow and this is the application. So we just need to click here and hold it and then we have to drag and drop on top of the application folder. So I am dropping on top of the application folder and it will start installation the software and you will be prompted uh, this type of thing that copy android studio to application so the android studio id will be installed uh, very shortly just wait a few more seconds i am seeing that still we need another five seconds but it depends based on the computer speed okay uh, i think the android studio already installed successfully so let's close everything because we don't need these things anymore so i'm closing this thing also this one also this one also and then i'm going to the applications folder of my mac so i'm holding command key and i pressed space bar to open the spotlight search and then i am typing uh, the application name that means the id name uh, that is android studio so i see if i type and it is showing me that android studio is there so I think uh, that means uh, the Android Studio is already installed there. So I just need to double click over here uh, to start the Android Studio. And for the first time, it takes some time. Uh, just be patient. Later, it will be faster. Uh, then uh, you can easily run the application. That means the ID. So it is verifying Android Studio. Just another few more seconds. We need to wait uh, to pop up the Android Studio. Yes. So it is now showing Android Studio is an app downloaded from the internet. Yes, we downloaded that. We know that. And are you sure you want to open it? Yes, we are sure because we need that to download to start developing our desired Flutter application. Okay, then I clicked. I have to click our uh, open this one. So I am going to click open. And once I click open, uh, we have to wait a few more seconds and it will be prompted this type of thing that import android studio settings form uh, this is a fresh installation and here there is no other things till now i installed android or android application or some android project i didn't do that so i am choosing do not import settings because this is a brand new thing right so i choose over there and then i'm clicking i'm going to click on ok button so once we click ok button then we'll see this type of thing messages uh, data sharing okay i don't want to share data so i'm uh, going to uh, choose don't send this option and then i'm seeing that the android studio uh, id welcome screen is appeared so that means uh, 
it is about to complete the setup okay so from here we have to select next and once you select next uh, we have to choose uh, which type of install do we need either standard or custom just choose standard because uh, we are pretty novice right we don't know much details about that so standard is the best option because it will uh, come all the default settings with all of the default settings and all of the default applications type of things anyway uh, just choose standard uh, it will be very uh, simple and easy then hit on next button once you hit next button it is asking which type of thing you want to choose there are two types of thing uh, theme uh, on this light and this dark hula. so if you like this black type of thing then you can choose this or if you like light you can also choose light i like light most of the time uh, so i'm clicking on light and then after that i have to click on next after choosing the theme now it is uh, showing me uh, the settings verification page so here it is showing that the sdk folder name is this on users me library android sdk so here is the main sdk and it has total size of 576 megabyte and some of other uh, things like emulator this is thing uh, uh, for this time we are not going to this thing we will discuss this thing later if we need that uh, during the application development time okay so uh, to complete uh, the setup we just need to click on finish button finally and it will download something unzipping something uh, it is doing some background task actually it is getting ready uh, the id to use for our development okay uh, just Whole few minutes and if you want to see the details what is uh, what it is doing then you can click on show details this button it will show everything what it is doing in the back end okay and it is control and it will continue scrolling because it is doing many things so just wait a uh, few more seconds yes uh, at one time you will find that hxm installation wants to make changes and it is asking the password so this password is your computer password that means your imac or imac macbook pro or macbook air password so i am typing uh, the password of my comp my imac and i'm then after typing the password i am going to hit ok button i click ok button uh, to complete the installation and again we have to wait a few more seconds and then again another uh, window appeared uh, it is asking that uh, system extension blocked okay so a program try to load new system this is this thing it if you want to enable this extensions open security and privacy system preferences preferences so if we click here then it will open that system preferences thing and from here we can uh, click here and we can put the password to unblock that and then we can click un unlock okay and then you can actually allow or disallow based on that okay i just allowed okay then i'm going to close this thing and then uh, wait few more seconds uh, to complete uh, it is still running running Intel exam so once the installation is finished then it will uh, the finish button will be appeared so please wait few more seconds so I see the components are downloaded successfully for our Android studio and it is uh, enabled uh, the finish button and also it is showing this message android sdk is up to date running intel this installer and silent installation pass that means installation successful so i'm going to click on finish button to complete the installation so once the installation is finished then uh, it will show or it will pop up this type of window and i see there is no flutter application development option here that means uh, we need to change some of the settings so before uh, doing those settings let me uh, do some things uh, something to make the machine or the id ready for development of flutter so i need to add on flutter plugins for android studio it will make our life very easy and simple and then we'll get flutter application very easily and develop easily so to do that we have to go configure and if we press configure this button then it will show us this type of option avd manager sdk manager preferences 
some other things so i'm going to uh, the preferences this thing and from here we'll see there are many things appearance and behavior key map editor plugins many other things so our target was to install on plugin for our flutter development with android id okay so i have to go plugins so after coming here we'll see there are lots of plugins are there so we don't need all of them uh, our target is for uh, on good plugin for flutter so i'm going to search the plugin name from here i'm typing typing flutter and i hit enter key once i hit enter key i will see this type of thing like flutter flutter snips many other things but uh, we need only one plugin and this is the plugin uh, be careful uh, if this is a small app don't install uh, the plugin which is capital f flutter just use that one so we have to choose this one and uh, after choosing this we need to install so i'm going to click on i'm going to uh, click flutter this option and then i uh, when i click over there it will come in this space and this is the plugins uh, we need to install with our Android Studio. So I'm going to click on install to start installation. So I just clicked over here uh, the install button and it is popping this type of message that third party plugin privacy or something like that. So we have to click on accept and plugin uh, dependency deleted. The plugin you want to install records other plugin Dart which have to be installed as well. Proceed. Yes, we need Dart because uh, to develop Flutter application, we also need Dart programming. Okay, so it is asking that Dart is also required. So I'm going to click on Yes to complete the installation of Flutter plugin with Dart. And then once the plugin is installed successfully, we need to restart the ID. So it is showing that restart ID. That means if we don't restart, that we cannot. Uh, use the ID properly. So we need to restart the ID. So I'm going to click on OK to close this and then it is popping me again that ID and plugin updates. Restart Android Studio to activate changes is in plugins. So there is two button on this postpone and this is start. I will click on restart to restart the ID so that we can use Flutter uh, to develop our Flutter application. And now wait a few sec seconds till it prompt me that window again. So now you will see in the Android is two page there is another option, new option is added actually. This is called start a new Flutter project. So if we click here, then we can develop Flutter application. Basically, from the configure uh, in the preferences or plugins section, uh, we install Flutter and it appeared this thing. It also installed Dart, uh, Dart programming language and now we are ready to develop uh, the Flutter web application. So let's try whether it is really working properly or not. So I'm just going to click on this option, start a new Flutter bullet, and it is popping uh, three things on its Flutter application, Flutter plugin, and there is Flutter package. So we'll try to build on application, Flutter application. So I choose it from there by clicking, and then I'm going to click next button, and then it is asking me the bullet name. Suppose my bullet name is my test bullet. So I just type my test bullet and it is uh, in the next field it is showing Flutter SDK path. Uh, this is the actual Flutter path which uh, we put. And probably you already recall that we put uh, Flutter in the folder. So let me open, let me show you. So if we go to uh, the main folder, I mean main hard disk. So uh, this is my main hard disk, Macintosh HD. I'm double clicking over there. Then I'm going to users. Then me, this is my username. Uh, for your case, it will be your username. And then there is one option, development. Under development, there is the Flutter. So it is showing that Flutter SDK path. So this path and this path is the same. See, development Flutter. Okay, under user, okay. So this is the path. If the path is not correct, then you can click over here and then you can show uh, the actual location of the path. Okay, for me it's okay. So I'm clicking cancel button because it is pointing to the perfect path and then pullet location. This is the location where um, you want to save your pullet. This 
path may be or this location may be anywhere on your computer okay so for the time being i am putting it in the default location and in the description you can put a description i'm not going to change anything because very soon we will delete this bullet uh, this is just a test application because we just installed uh, android with clutter plugins plugins uh, to check whether it is working properly or not so once these things configured properly we need to click on next button and uh, it is asking me set a package name you can do or you can skip this thing uh, i'm not going to uh, do this anything uh, because i will delete i told you uh, we'll create new application later very soon i mean very soon uh, this is the installation thing to check whether it is working properly or not and uh, then just click on finish button to finish to finish uh, the installation or creating creation of new project so just wait few more seconds because it is going to create flutter project and it is giving me another pop-up that i device underscore id cannot be open because uh, just ignore it just put in cancel and then wait few more seconds and you will see the flutter application i mean the android id is opened with the flutter application code so this is actually the default uh, default uh, application uh, which the flutter team developed uh, so when you open uh, or whenever we create one application default application using the plugin you will find this type of thing type of thing and you will find this type of the project everything is there so this is the main project name and these are the files regarding related to that project and this is the android is to id so now we are not going to run this application now uh, because still we have something remaining uh, we need to configure the android emulator to run this application so basically uh, in the next step we'll configure the android studio and after that we'll run this application on the android studio so basically uh, in this tutorial or in this episode i just wanted to show you how to install android studio because we have planned to install uh, flutter completely and to start developing flutter application uh, uh, in the first episode i showed you how to install flutter and this episode i showed you how to uh, complete android studio installation and after this next episode we'll see how to uh, configure the android devices uh, like virtual devices so that we can run this application so thank you for watching this episode uh, hopefully you liked it and if you have any question or if you face any difficulties on any issue just put in the comment section and i will try my best or if i fail somebody will try their best to put uh, the solution and thank you for watching this episode